this is Eric Mother Mother Duck. Let's take a look at the solar ETF TAN, which is down about 2.8 percent early in this session. And I want to discuss in this video the possibility of an emerging negative divergence situation. This is the four hourly. And we can see an improvement in prices here and then here. And while that was developing, take a look at your RSI. We got that movement lower. And again, here we also have what is clearly rejection with uniform activity at the RSI 69.1 level. So because of that negative divergence and also because of the RSI 69.1 rejection, this is looking like a short-term sell signal. Now I say short-term because a true sell signal only comes when you break the RSI lows line, going back to the recent lows of late March 2020. So the only way we can get a massive plunge in the solar names is by cracking below this line. Right now, it looks like we are seeing negative divergence, a reason for a short-term pullback for now until we see more data down the road. Take a look at the daily. The daily has a similar situation. You got negative divide, improvement in prices. Your RSI is showing this resistance line. And again, we have RSI 69.1, uniform activity rejection. You take all of this. The daily is also suggesting here that this is a reversal area for a short term pullback. And again, just like we saw with the four hourly, we see that the true sell signal would come if we break this RSI lows line. So for now, it looks like a short term pullback until if and when we crack below this RSI lows line. Another way to look at this is take a look at the weekly chart. And on the weekly, we can see that there's a fresh weekly breakout this week after two weeks of rest, which is the required minimum rest period. So the breakout continues to be intact as long as we are above that $85 and change, which is this weekly closing high here. So until we crack below this number to the downside, the breakout continues to be successful. Now it's going to take a major break below this area here, this level to confirm that the daily pullback has now turned into a stronger correction to the downside. Otherwise, net net, let's say if you are still playing solar names, they still remain in play as long as we are trading above the 85 or the recent weekly closing high. Another way of saying that as long as that weekly breakout is successful and holding above the 85 and change level, the solar names are in play. Yes, a pullback is taking shape and it turns into a massive red flag if we see a daily, excuse me, a weekly breakout failure. So if this prices move below 85, then that is going to be confirmation of a stronger intention to see lower prices. Also, let's not forget that as long as we have this strong look you can see the rsi continues to hold above 69.1 in fact has been holding above 69.1 since this period here so again as long as the rsi is above 69.1 on the weekly this continues to be a stable to bullish sector of the market if not one of the out and out and out leadership stocks for 2020 so yes the daily and the four hourly looking like confirming pullback situation but until the weekly breaks down and until we see a break below recent daily rsi lows line this line would have to break on the daily to the downside and on the four hourly would need to see a break below this trend line also on the four hourly so right now pull back yes is it gonna be a big sell down the road it could be but it's gonna need a failure to hold the weekly level and for the daily RSI levels to be breached. And also your RSI would have to crack below 69.1 on the weekly time frame. And oh yeah, before I sign off here, 
Consider also that the monthly continues to trade above 69.1. So this on a monthly and weekly time scale continue to be strong leadership area of the market. Eric Moad with Love light, like love. Namaste.